Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement Mason in your Flutter application. Mason is a code generator tool. So assuming you have this project structure, come on inside it, base controller dot dart, that is abstract, features, login, and each feature had a name. Inside it, API, login API, some login API code, then controller, the logic controller models, and UI screens and widgets. So let's say you want to add a new feature to these features. Basically, you would copy login and paste it inside features again and open API file by file and remove the code and edit the names and all of that for each directory. The beauty of Mason is that it allows you to recreate that feature by simply typing Mason make feature. It will ask you about the feature name. You can say, for example, splash and it will generate everything inside the features so splash has api if we enter the api it's empty controller that extends base controller and define splash api inside it and then models that extends equatable and has the props make sure to add your props here and then the ui screens and widgets now before we get started if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss our content now let's get started. To get this started with Mason, you don't have to install any library because Mason comes with Dart. So you can activate it by saying Dart pop the global activate Mason CLI, hit enter, it will install the dependencies. And you can also say activate Mason and it will also install the dependency. After you do that, you can say Mason version to make sure Mason is working in your terminal. Now, after you do that, Make sure you run Mason in it to init Mason in your project. Now you can see that it added some files like Mason.yaml and a folder Mason that has bricks.json. Now to initialize a Mason feature, we can say Mason new and the name, for example, feature. And you can see that it added a directory called feature that has bricks, hello.md, bricks.yaml, changelog.md, license, and readme.md. Now I will create a new directory called bricks and I will move the feature inside the bricks. Then I will delete these three files because we don't really need them. However, brick.yaml we need it because we need the name. Here as a default we can say new feature and for the prompt we can say what is your feature name. And then so inside the bricks we will have the same structure as we have below like lib under it features, under it the feature name, and all these directories like API and so on. So we'll create a new directory called lib, then under it features, then under it, here we can use mustache a syntax to say name.snake case, and that's the feature name. So under that, we'll start creating the other directories like API, and then controller, and then we will add the models and after that we will add the UI and then I want to move the controllers into under the feature name now to create a new file under API we can also use mustache syntax so we can say name dot snake case underscore API dot darp and that's it now inside this file we can say class and here we can say name.pascal case and then API. And inside this class, we can have const the constructor name.pascal case API. And that's it for this file. We will do the same for the controller. We will say name.snake case underscore controller dot dart. We will do the same for the controller. We will say class and then inside mustache syntax name dot pascal controller extends base controller and we will import the base controller that we have then final name pascal case api we'll call it api and then name dot pascal case controller and then pass this dot api inside it and for the import we will import the project and slash features then name dot snake case for the feature name then slash api, then slash name.snake case underscore api dot dart. And that's it for the controller. As for model, we will do the same. We will say name.snake case underscore model dot dart. 
and we'll do the same for model so class name dot pascal model extends equatable and we'll import equatable and then inside that const name dot pascal case model for constructor and then for the props and here adding to do so we won't forget about it as for the ui we will do the same so name dot snake case underscore screen dot dart and we will do the same for the screen but first we'll import material then class name dot pascal case screen extend the stateful widget and then const name dot pascal case screen and we'll pass the key and then we will create the state so state name dot pascal screen create a state remember to add the underscore and here name dot pascal screen state and finally we will add the last class which is name dot pascal screen state extend the state name dot pascal screen and we will have the build method and we're done with this file so moving to the widget we will name it as before name dot snake case underscore widget dot dart for the widget it's a bit easier so we imported material we'll have name dot pascal widget extend stateless widget then const name dot pascal widget and pass the key and we'll have the build method and that's it for the widget too now before we give it a try we want to edit something else inside mason.yaml we need to remove all that and we need to have here feature and for this feature we'll specify the path as bricks slash feature so whenever we type in the terminal make feature it will understand it but first we will say mason get feature and it will get the feature then now we can say mason make feature and it will ask about the feature name so let's this time say home and it generated it so let's check the home you can see that it generated everything the api the controller with base controller with the api and then the model with equatable and the props and the ui with the stateful widget and finally the widget with the stateless widget now that was everything but you can see how annoying it is in red every mason file and the problems here are too many so let's go to the settings and open it in json and just above the dart here let's add this dart.analysis excluded folders and we will add the bricks folder and save it you can see that all the errors are gone but be careful because it won't warn you in case of error but however in the problems here we only have to do so that was all thank you guys for watching if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.